They've waited patiently while Europe reveled in carrying co fever, but fans in the Big Apple finally got their reward as the Sex and the City premiere bandwagon hit New York. The location for the Fab Four's adventures has been called the fifth cast member, so Sarah Jessica Parker says it was only right they should honour it. You know, it's the most meaningful stop on this amazing journey and to see everybody on the streets, even though it was going to rain and has rained and they're still there and to see the cast and all their glory and I think probably most especially Michael Patrick King who is our fearless leader and uh, it's just been incredible. In fact, Kim Cattrall's been looking forward to it so much she's been saving herself for the event. I, I did not see it in London, the, the movie. I, we went to all the premieres in, in, in London and in Berlin but I decided to wait to come home to New York to see it at Radio City Music Hall. I, I thought that would be a really fun romantic thing to do and I also promised my boyfriend. So. The movie picks up from where the award-winning TV series left off, with the complicated love lives and fashion choices of writer Carrie, publicist Samantha, Charlotte the Curator and lawyer Miranda. They hung around for the perfect script after the show came to a halt in 2004, and Cynthia Nixon's convinced this one's a winner. You know, one of the really smart things about the way they did the film was they, they let it be four years later. They're not, you know, they let us age, they let us be dealing with issues in the movie that women our age really do deal with. But the question everyone's dying to know the answer to, does our favourite cosmopolitan drinker marry Mr. Big? Well, no surprises, they're keeping stum. They'll just have to go see the film to find out.